of them's above this tree. Oh boy. Whoa. If I am just right, I can use it against him. Sick. I forgot about that. That's awesome. He used his previous Ricochet one. Ricochet it. Oh. <gasps> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife Montana and this is my beautiful cat Rue. And today we're going to be reacting to season four, episode 22 of My Hero Academia, school festival start, double exclamation point. Yeah, last episode we had Deku encountering the gentle criminal. What are your thoughts before we jump into this episode? Do you think Deku stops him? Yes, I think Deku prevents him from getting the festival canceled. Yeah, we'll see if that happens, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for episodes of My Hero Academia coming every Friday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait, I want to see these episodes right now. They're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length form, along with episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen, Code Geass, and uh, Gravity Falls. Are we excited for episode 22 of My Hero Academia Season 4? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Tell me something. That tea was part of your ritual, right? Well, aren't you a perceptive young man? My dearest viewers, I believe it's time to give you a taste of my hijinks. Try not to be so dazzled that you avert your eyes as your favorite scoundrel shows off his talents. Gentle criminal at your service. My plans have shifted. Due to our current predicament, friends, I'll keep my words brief. For this caper, I will infiltrate you, eh? So cool! I won't let you do that! Clever Him boy, saying that right in front of Deku is pretty rude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, what is he gonna I'm do sure with that? I have feelings invested in this festival, but they can't win against the desires of my mustache and my soul. This scheme is a crucial step toward my becoming a legend. I feel like Uraraka would be really way. helpful in this situation. Land, Interesting. Although maybe not. Actually, no, I think I she would. I you ruin this for my entire school! For the sake of the world. For the sake of others. For the sake of my courageous dream. And to honor your feelings for me. <laughs> Are you so kidding? What funny. the heck are you wearing, Kendo? Oh, dang. Looking good. This is weird. Don't just waltz in here. She could have been getting dressed. This is nuts. Hard to believe someone who sold her soul to violence could pull off a look like that. I can't figure out if that's a compliment or an insult. A compliment? After all, I'm the one who entered you into the beauty pageant to begin with. I figure you're a shoe in because of all your fans from that commercial. If you win, Class B will be even more plus ultra than the losers in Class A. More importantly, since you've been focusing on this, I've been safe from you. <laughs> well, if I'm going to compete, I'm at least going to aim for the top. Hey, hey, hold the phone. It's not fair to say Kendo will win this. It's still anyone's game. Veggie Ray Hotto. This'll be fun. Won't it? I agree. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Bless your hearts. How precious you think either Ooh. of you stand a chance. Not oh, this lady. Perfect beauty. See for yourself. Pause it. What's wrong with her curls? The curls, they're not brushed out. What are we doing? Brush them out. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Is this a girl fight or what? We'll be there super soon. Let's see. Class A's performance starts at 10 a.m. And after that, we'll run and catch Class B's play. Then it's chow time and the beauty pass. He's still so excited about it. Yeah. I bet you're hyped to see Midori, all right? And his dance moves? Mm-hmm. Oh, she doesn't <laughs> know about the dance yet. Atsume, you should probably clean yourself up before the presentation, too. What? Yeah. All this grease is just proof of my hard work. Good morning, All Might. Morning. What do we have here? Hmm? Permission to leave the campus. This morning? 
Yeah, he said there was something he had to buy before their concert, so he headed down the mountain. But we're just about to kick things off. That's cutting it pretty close. I hope he's not doing anything too naughty. Well... <laughs> Neither of you are going to give up. I think it's time. Let's use my quirk. Never speculate on what her quirk could be. Yeah, what I didn't know there was a quirk to speculate on. His air membranes are invisible, but they're definitely still around. The things I elasticize return to normal gradually over time. <gasps> Launched himself. He's on our tail, gentle. La Brava, if possible, I'd like to save your quirk until the situation becomes more dire. But at this rate, it's highly possible your plan will fail. I'm well aware. This clever caper is now a race against the clock. And he's fast. Earlier, I was able to use my air bullets to knock him off his trajectory. In order to recover from that and land, he put up two of those bouncy air membranes. One of them's above this tree. Oh boy! Whoa! If I land just right, I can use it against him. Sick! I forgot about that. That's awesome. He used his previous Ricochet one. Ricochet it! <gasps> Are you okay? No. Wow! That's it! I've got you. Okay. Both. Stop resisting and give up! In the past, Jinta would have run away as soon as he was discovered. I am betting my soul and my prized mustache on this audacious festival scheme. But his passion is getting him hurt. My poor Jinta. Get this, you know Aiba, that short girl in class three? I've never even talked to her, but she sent me a love letter. What? For real? It gets worse. Based on the weird stuff she knew, she's been stalking me. It's so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> there were pages and pages. I've got to show you. Gross. What a psycho. It's so mean. It's kind of scary. I mean, she was stalking him. Oh, was that what was happening? Yeah. Okay. Yikes. I worked up the courage to write a love note to a boy who ended up mocking me. After that, I lost faith in basically everything. All I did was stare at my computer. But even doing that, I could feel myself falling apart. Maybe I should just say goodbye to this life. A good day to you, dear viewers. Yes, this is I before you. Gentle criminal. Have you lost your passion? Then please put your faith in me, for I will change this wretched world. That's when I first discovered you. Is her you quirk like obsession related or is that just like a personality thing for her? Interesting. That's not an answer. I, can't get I cannot. These dark circles. I hope he doesn't think I'm a weirdo. I'm sorry I hacked into your account. To get your address. I'm a fan and I want to help you. May I please? Gentle? You took me in without any reservations. And you were so, so kind. You didn't make fun of my feelings. You accepted me wholly. We walk together, side by side, hand in hand. Manami Aiba, I've been thinking of your code name. How does La Brava sound to you? You're the perfect partner, and your code name should reflect that. you over to the police as soon as I can. 
Don't try to fight back! I love you, gentle. And I you, my love brother. La brother! Her quirk? Love. By you called it. her love to the person she has feelings for, she can temporarily power up the object of her affection. Oh. What's going on? His strength. The deeper her love, the more of a boost she can give. If Yikes. So his is going to be like max she can for her. Someone's strength tenfold. Ah, love. Such a powerful thing. Apologies, lad. <laughs> I abhor using brute force, so I usually edit out scenes of such violence. Edit out scenes? It would be best if you took a nap. He really does hate this. No. I fought against stronger, faster people than you. <laughs> yeah. And beat Hell yeah, Deku. Woohoo! I haven't lost yet. <laughs> All right. Deku's starting to realize he's like, I'm that guy. Yeah. Like I beat muscular. Like when you have that morning, you solid of a track record. <laughs> yeah, stain muscular overhaul. Yeah. That's pretty good. No. Combo. Literally. Good morning, you a. Yeah! Rep work is all done and it's time to rock! Let's get this party going! If you can hear my voice, get out there and have fun! Let me hear you! Make some noise! The UA School Festival starts now! This is impossible! No way! That was our last resort! In the past, Lava Mode always allowed us to escape! Brava mode. Brava mode. Why won't you just give up already? Chantelle, no. Pretty it's crazy funny. looking. Yeah. Forgive me, but it seems like my love wasn't strong enough to help. Oof. Nothing certain yet, La Brava. Your feelings will see us through. Gently sandwich. <laughs> the thinner the sandwich, the more elegant it's considered. I do regret having to pile on so many layers, but I suppose it can't be helped. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifices must be made to achieve the dreams of my youth. To make certain history of his youth, dreams me. of his youth. This is yep, no and history remembers him. No. Okay. Unless I want my name to fade, I must persevere. My aims are not so trivial; I would abandon them only because you asked. You're a UA student, so you must understand what it means to yearn for a goal. Whoa. I do. If you were to do that, cool then animation. why would you target the school festival? Why would you ruin everything we've worked so hard for? Because there's no other way. It's for your dream. So nothing else matters, you'll get the whole event canceled. And take the happiness away from a girl who doesn't even know how to smile yet. I will. If that's what it takes to achieve my goal. My dream is to become a pro. Wait, that's a him? Great enough yep. to be written about in textbooks one day. Wow. Yeah, okay. let's talk about that. Things aren't looking good for you, Tobita. Our school isn't exactly difficult, yet your grades are horrible and you keep getting held back. On top of that, this is the fourth time you failed the provisional licensing exam. Honestly, the only thing I can recommend is for you to voluntarily withdraw. Oof. I heard that Takashita's son already has agencies asking him to join. Don't worry about it, Mom. <laughs> I'll keep trying. I swear. Emergency! Call a hero! <gasps> He's gonna fall! I fought it with my quirk. I could make a cushion. I could save him. <gasps> no! Oh no. He was seriously injured. It'll be a long recovery. Your actions interfered with a pro's rescue attempt. I have to charge you with obstructing official hero duties. That will go on your record, of course.
That's so rough. Spring is lovely. Foraging is easier. Yeah. <laughs> I had already abandoned my dream, and then... Takashita! You formed your own agency! That's wonderful! You must remember me from school! We were in the same <laughs> class! Uh, sure. What was your name again? That's when I knew... I'd been forgotten. Oh, so that's when why he's so obsessed with being remembered. Alone, yeah. Poor and pathetic. Never. I have time! Gentle! We use lover mode as a way to escape in a hurry, not like this! He usually tries so hard to avoid violence! You can mock me and say that I'm weak! I care not what you think! We will prevail! I won't mock you! But I can't let you go to UA! Defeat him! You have to! That girl's quirk. His power is increasing even more! Wow. You! Tell me, why is it you want to be a hero? No longer an ambition I hold simply for myself. I'm the same as you, gentle. My dream isn't just my own anymore. I have a goal that my body wasn't made for. And there was a point when I'd completely given up on it. But for everyone who's cheered me on, for everyone who's acknowledged me, I'll become a hero. Plenty of people in this world are hurting. And so, I want to become someone who can show them a bright future! I see. Yes. Animation kind of went nuts there. Yeah, seriously. I believe with all my heart you can do this! If I can connect to UA's internal network using this special wireless connection, then I can deactivate their security system and we can get inside. This program I created has to work. Didn't they already do oh, that? No. I can't connect from the They were planning line. on doing it. Oh. Okay. They hadn't gone close enough. Gotcha, gotcha. I need to get closer. Anything I can do to help Gentle, I have to try. And she's rubbing dirt on she's herself. Doing the dirt thing. Stay yeah. To come alone. Hmm? Can't let her leave. Tell me. Still believe me to be an unworthy opponent. <laughs> I will throw away my pride, honor, everything to defeat you. Consider it a sign of respect, lad. No. Oh. You have been caught. Shoot style. St. Louis. Yeah. Wow. He hadn't even really hit him with a smash yet. No. Wow, and he was so out of it he couldn't even cushion the ground. Yeah. You were my toughest. Oh, good point. Whoa. Wow. You were someone I can understand. Oh, uh, okay. Gentle. Yeah, he didn't want to fight him as yeah. hard. Run. Save yourself. The power-up from the Bravas Quirk is temporary and can only be used once per day. Okay. No, stop. Take your hands off of him. Let my Gentle go. Get off him. Now. Gentle poured his whole heart. Knowing full well that you wouldn't, because that is who you are. 
You can't help me. That would make you an accomplice to my misdeeds. Yes, but I've already committed plenty of crimes with my hacking. Hmm. It'll be fine, gentle. It's all worth it to be with you. As long as I'm by your side, I'll be happy. Would you have found joy if you'd escaped alone? Would you have found a new life? No. I'll die before I let anyone take you from me! I'm sure you would have gone on to commit crimes far more heinous than we have. But this is my fault. I'm the one who brought you here. Who accepted you and made you my partner. Who got you involved. La Brava, I hope you know that I am happy with you. If the heroes catch me like this, it will be obvious that you are my accomplice. In which case... The least I can do is make it look as though this fight never happened. To make the crime just a little less serious. Don't come back, Izuku Midoriya. Wait, I'm confused. For the sake of my he launched away deck. You'll see. Okay. You'll see. Come if back, not, I'll explain Izuku it. Midoriya. He launched Deku away from like towards the festival. Right. Future. Such a passionate young boy. You should be proud. You protected everything you stood for and won. I'm afraid I took a tumble in the park. You way. Eh? I'm turning myself in. So essentially he wanted to get Deku away so it wasn't clear he fought a hero and that would be a big deal. Oh, okay. Him just kind of being like, like oh, I'm, I'm I wanted to come I was turn myself to break in. in. Gotcha. Not even I'm trying to break in. I'm just coming to turn myself. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, that's where we're left for episode twenty two of My Hero Academia. As for me, I wanna see your smile. What a party. What are your first thoughts? Wow. Okay. That was really, really good. Okay. So it seems like the festival is going to be able to continue. Yeah. So. Alarm did not get raised. Great, great news. Good stuff. The love power up quirk is very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. That it only applies to someone else. Mm -hmm. Like that's like a quirk that I feel like by definition makes you like, like a sidekick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> As she was. Yeah, and I feel like we haven't seen a lot of those. Very cool quirk, and I really like the idea of a power-up quirk for somebody else. It's yeah, cool. 100%. Yeah. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode, and uh, if you can't wait, I want to see these episodes right now. They're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length form, along with episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen, Code Geass, and uh, Gravity Falls. Uh, we have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Uh, thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode of any show that we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, Green Dragon 53 asks, how do you feel LaBrava captures the fact that current superhero society is ill-equipped to handle cases of quirks influencing personalities? Rather than recognizing and accounting for the behaviors that were heightened and influenced by her quirk, her peers ostracized her, and the adults didn't appear to do anything to help her better account for the differences in her thought processes as a result of her quirk, like the obsessive tendencies. 100%. Who else do you think has been pushed down the wrong path due to a lack of consideration and treatment for quirk influence on personality? Okay, I think that is such a cool way of thinking about her and just like a really great representation of mental illness in general. And I think Bakugo. I was going to say Bakugo, the explosivity. It's so he is explosion. Exactly. And like and like when someone has a natural inclination for something, trying to push it down the same way you would like prevent a normal person from doing that same thing, it's not going to work. So you have to look at it from the perspective of someone who has this predisposition. 
and potentially make it like more controllable or more usable or just like generally better understood. Yeah, it is interesting that society doesn't have more things put in place for people whose quirks are like, I don't know, like Shigaraki. His quirk, Isn't his that quirk, the fucking truth? His quirk is decay. I wonder why he's being so destructive, you know? Yeah. Like, it's it's definitely a yeah. connection that could be drawn. Uh, let's go to our f- second question. Question two. Ashton asks, we see that gentle criminal wanted to be a hero but couldn't meet the expectations to do so or had qualities that wouldn't fit into hero society. Taking into account how similar his personal experience is with some members of League of Villains and how some of them wanted to be heroes but couldn't do to their quirks or mental illnesses, what does this say about the exclusivity of hero society? What is your take on the lack of accommodation and how no matter someone's drive, they could be turned away from being given a chance to be a hero due to things out of their control? Why do you feel those who are cast out from becoming heroes turn to villainy so often and what could change to this? Lots of great questions. Fabulous questions. Yeah, but basically him not being able to be a hero, even though he had a strong desire, good motives, and then he just couldn't pass like a little written test. Yeah. I feel like in academia and just kind of like society in general, there's a big component of like, if you don't reach a certain level of whatever, you're a problem and then the problem will be dealt with. And the dealing with of the problem causes more of an issue than the person just not reaching the threshold initially. Um, Like there's so many situations where people fall through the cracks and just from like, I mean, obviously I think we have an obligation to help people because we're people, but strictly from a financial perspective, like it is more financially viable to house people than to police and deal with homelessness as an entity it it financially doesn't make sense the like exclusivity and the level that people have to reach in order to get a kind of basic thing ends up creating more problems than there were originally just from people not reaching that level what does this say about the exclusivity about hero society what is your take on the lack of accommodation how no matter someone's drive they could be turned away from being given a chance to be a hero due to things out of their control why do you feel those cast out from becoming heroes turn to villainy so often and what could change this it's a tough question i'm even trying to think about what could be done but you have to be able like because here's the thing had he been in the field and done one of those like things to try to cushion a fall and killed that guy like that's a problem yeah no exactly yeah i mean there isn't an easy answer yeah a lot like mental health yeah because it's the combination of protecting the collective while respecting the individual which is like complicated in situations where people are throwing beams off of things you know yeah i think having other options and like kind of a more clear path when the ideal doesn't work out you know because like every like young individual with a quirk it's like i'm gonna go to school to be a hero and then i'm gonna be a hero and i'm gonna be number one like that's like that's everyone's goal but when you get to a point where it becomes clear that that goal is not going to work. You can't just be told, okay, you're done. Figure it out. Yeah. Like, it has to be, okay, this path is no longer the best one for you. Let's yeah. collectively figure out other options that are a better use of your skill set. Because there has to be other jobs. still help people. Yeah. But when someone is in a position where they're told you're not good enough and then is just abandoned by the people they wanted to join exactly like why would they like why would they not go to join a bunch of bad people especially when those bad people know that there's a constant stream of very powerful people being horribly rejected remember gentle didn't join any um groups right i mean just like with villains in general gotcha yeah Like, it's not even just that someone has nowhere to go and then chooses to do something bad. If there's nowhere to go, they're going to be approached by people who know, wow, you're super powerful and you were just thrown away like you're garbage. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a pretty big problem. they're, They're recruiting for the bad guys. Yeah. That's unintentional, but I guess it's what they're doing. And it's, yeah. Uh, Well, uh, let's go to our final question. Final question. Isis asks, Montana, what are your thoughts on the fight with Gentle and Deku? And how do you think Gentle and Deku are a mirror of each other? That's such an interesting part of Gentle's quirk specifically, because it's very hard to control 
ricochets, especially when they're like gradually depleting and yeah, it, that, a lot of that, factor. Yeah. So for someone like Deku, who's very force based, that's just an absolute nightmare because anything he puts in is just going to be like. Oh, interesting. You're seeing this in a their combat mirroring each other. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing this as somebody who couldn't really make it as a hero oh. being given a second chance with the power of a power up, essentially. Oh, interesting. Like, okay. It, like, okay. Gentle wasn't succeeding in his grades, like, couldn't become a hero. Deku mm. wasn't succeeding in his quirk, couldn't become a hero. They both encountered somebody that kind of, like, inspired them, them to keep a... going. Okay. And gave totally, them power totally. in a sense like i think that was it I, I guess that's what i when i read mirror that's what my mind thought of and i hadn't considered that before yeah. but wow okay do you think that's kind of it yeah yeah no i could totally see that it's pretty yeah two different paths i mean i always find yeah. it interesting too that in the flashback gentle has a regular voice and now he has this eccentric voice like he just yeah, put it, it on 100 percent. like he just became this character well, you know what the other difference is? His parents stopped supporting him and Deku's mom never did. Very interesting. That is the difference most of the time. Yep. For literally everything. Yep. And uh, that's where we're left for this episode. Good note to leave it on. Yeah. Uh, are we excited for episode 23 of My Hero Academia Season 4? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.